Hey, welcome to the third video in my beginning Minesweeper strategy series. Uh, hopefully you saw the previous video about um, especially the 1-2 rule. In this video, I'm going to show you two potential extensions of that. Uh, as I mentioned before, the 1-2 pattern, uh, as we kind of see here, a 1 and a 2 against a flat wall, is pretty important. It comes up a lot um, based on what we already saw. We know that the 1 and the 2 there mean that that is a mine and that that, uh, just clicked it as a mine, but is not. Um, there is an extension of it though. If you see a 1, 2 next to a 2 and a 1 going the other direction, so 1, 2, 2, 1, nice little palindrome there, you see those four right next to each other, you can pretty quickly recognize that the um, not only is this going to be a mine because of that 1-2, but that's going to be a mine because of that 1-2 pattern going this way. And by the same token, you can know that um, neither of these is going to be a mine because this one is now touching a mine there. So you can click on that one and that one. And same thing over here, that one and that one will not be mines. So again, if you see the one, two, two, one pattern there uh, against a flat wall, it's an extension of the one, two pattern. So that one will be a mine, that one will be safe, that one will be mine, and that one will be safe. And as a bonus, because of the one, two, two, one, you also know that these ones are going to be safe because uh, these ones will now be touching a mine. All right, uh, we're back in the beginner mode. It was hard to find a 1, 2, 2, 1 uh, in a smaller board, so that last one was an intermediate size. But uh, this is the other extension of the 1, 2 pattern that we want to talk about. Again, here we have a 1 and a 2 against a flat wall, so we're going to know that that one will be a mine and that one will be safe. I marked it as a uh, mine just to show you. That one will be safe though. Again, because of this one, two, as we learned in the last video, mine, safe. Um, but again, kind of like with the one, two, two, one, you go the other direction, there's a one, two pattern here. So you know that that one will be a mine and that this one will be safe. So you can go ahead and if you see this one, two, two, one pattern, you can mark those under the ones as mines and immediately open those. And again, as a bonus, you're going to be able to open this one if it didn't open automatically already because this two will be already touching two mines. So this one can't be a mine. So again, you see that one, two, one pattern against a wall that happens quite often. It's an extension of the uh, regular one, two pattern. Um, you see this one, two, meaning that that's a mine and that's safe. This one too means that that's a mine and that one's safe. And then the bonus is you get to open that one under the two because it will already be touching two mines. So those are the two most common simple uh, extensions of that one two golden rule, rule of Minesweeper. And uh, you will see that uh, in a lot of situations. You might have even already noticed that you had another one to one pattern here. It was just against an edge, so it wasn't as uh, helpful about being able to open um, a mine on the outside edge. But same principle applies. You can mark the squares that are covered under the ones. They will be mines because of this one to one, and that one will be safe, and this will be your bonus open square. So hopefully that helps, and I will see you in the next video.